It is January 23rd, 2016. One year ago to the day is when we hooked up our solar panel system to the grid. We have not had a utility bill since February of 2015. At 11 o'clock on the 23rd of January 2015 is when we started producing power. And it has been absolutely wonderful. The solar panel system has run everything on our 2.3 acres for the last year. So this color here is when we're selling excess power to the grid. This color here is what we're generating from the solar panels. So you can see here we're generating power. Uh, actually, before we were selling power to the grid on this day, we were generating power, but not enough power to sell because our load, this color right here, was more than what we were generating. On this particular day, we generated 19.7 kilowatt hours. We sent 12.9 kilowatt hours to the grid. We bought 8.1 kilowatt hours from the grid. I'll explain that in a second. And our load for the day, how much power we use, was 11 kilowatt hours. 11 kilowatt hours is our average daily use on a normal day. So if we're generating all the power that we need, if we generated 19.7 kilowatt hours and our load was 11.2, why are we buying from the grid? Well, you can see we bought less from the grid than what we sold to the grid by four kilowatt hours. And the reason why we're buying from the grid is because I don't want to cycle our batteries and wear out the batteries. So at night, when we're not generating power, we're actually buying the power that we sold during the day back from the grid. Now, the nice thing is, in our situation, our utility company pays us full retail price for all the power that they buy from us. In a minute, I'm going to go out to the meter and show you the actual meter difference between what we've purchased and what we've sold in the last 12 months. So let's take a look at it here on the chart. So we're just taking a look at the year. And here you can see January. We sold some power, but we started on January 23rd. So we actually purchased more power than we sold. We almost generated more power than we needed, but not quite. But every month since then, we have generated more power than we've needed. You can see by the graph here, every single month here. This line up here is the charge level of our battery bank, which has been fully charged because we don't drain the batteries down. We do cycle them once a month. It's called exercising, make sure they hold a charge. But as you can see, everything's doing really well. Then in November, you can see where we started having our really cold winters and cloudy days. And so we started needing more power from the grid. And again, here in December, even more. Now, December is when we started doing seeding production with grow lights. The power that we use to run the grow lights is about equal to the power we use to run the whole property. We generated, for the year of 2015, 7,890 kilowatt hours. We sold to the grid 4,391 kilowatt hours, so more than half of the power that we generated, we sold to the grid at full retail price. At nighttime, we bought 3,674 kilowatt hours, so again, less than what we sold to the grid, and our load for the year was 5,671 kilowatt hours is what we consumed here on the property. It really does work. So let's take a look at the meter right now to get an official count for the last 12 months. Okay, here is the official net meter. Since January 23rd, 2015, we have purchased 4,073 kilowatt hours from Rocky Mountain Power, and we have sold them 4,743. We are in the black by 700 kilowatt hours after a year of use on our property. It really does work. And I'll prove to you, we had zero utility bills for the last year. This is the bill that we received for February, due on March 16th. It says, Dear customer, thank you for choosing our website to manage your electric account. Your current monthly Rocky Mountain Power electric bill for the amount of $0.00, .00 for account, etc. is now available online. Zero dollars and zero cents. Let's look at the next bill. Here's April. Same thing. 
Your electric bill in the amount of zero dollars and zero cents. Here's May's bill. Again, zero dollars and zero cents. June, zero dollars and zero cents. July, zero dollars and zero cents. It is awesome all the way through the year. Here's August, September, November, December, and January, zero dollars. Now what we can do is we can either get a check at the end of each month and they will send a check to us or we can just leave it as a credit in the account and they balance it out at the end of each month. We've simply left the credit in there so we have had zero utility bill payments since we put up our solar panel system. I hope this video has been helpful. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if ye are prepared, ye shall not fear. I have prepared to be as self sufficient with my electrical needs as possible. If you have the same goals, it's absolutely doable and affordable.